my hair all messy hello everyone welcome back to my channel this is natalie with natalie's closet it looks like we have two people in here nobody has said anything yet um this is i know it's not going to be necessarily revolving around crochet today but i wanted to oops my pillow's uneven um i wanted to go ahead and do a retro candy uh, video because I picked some up at the local candy shop. Hey, Andrea, welcome. Um, and the last couple times back when I first started doing lives that we did retro lives or had conversations about retro stuff, we had a ton of fun. So um, I'll go over that as more people come in because it's something I'm planning on doing. Hey, Karen. Hey, Donna. How are you guys? Welcome. Okay, now it shows we have one person in here. Did, did everybody leave? <laughs> or maybe it's just you two being wacko. But um, as you come in, if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the like button, that would be awesome. Sorry, I'm trying to get this off screen because it's bugging me. Okay, there we go. Um, Miley, stop. So anyway, so I thought that would be kind of a fun, uh, fun um, thing to talk about. And I think I've mentioned in the past that there's a candy shop on the beach. There's actually two of them. I think there's actually technically three of them, but uh, two that are to in in closer proximity to me. Um, and we were we were driving along the beach today after our do uh, after my mom's doctor's appoint appointment, and I was like, you know what, I want to stop at the candy shop because it's called the candy shop. Um, I want to stop at the candy shop because I want to get a specific thing. And then while I was in there, I was like, you know what, oh my god, I really wasn't in the mood to do a live tonight because I'm just tired. We've been on the go like literally since this morning, out of the house on the go, and I'm like, I really don't want to do it, but I know I have to get off. But then again, I'll get off early because hopefully Kelly will be going on. I don't know if anybody's heard from Kelly. She hasn't responded to any of my emails, so I'm getting really worried about her. But um, then when I'm in the candy shop, I'm finding the, a couple of things. I, mean, I only got like four or five things, but I'm like, oh, my gosh, you know what? I'm so excited. I'm going to get And I started talking to this guy about my channel. And so I thought it'd be fun to do today. Hey, Linda, welcome. How are you? Hey, Denisha, welcome. You have a candy shop too? Like called the candy shop? Wait a minute. Who have I missed? Hey, Jennifer. Welcome. How are you? Uh, so I thought that would be something fun to do. And I am actually considering doing one live a week that will be just retro related. And I love, you guys know I love supporting small businesses, so I will try to find whatever I can at this candy shop because he has toys and stuff too. But obviously we all remember different things, right? So, and not all of us like the same thing, so we may not know of other things. Um, yeah, I know. This one's called the candy shop. And he's all retro. Yes, he has some candy that is available today, which a lot of stuff was available then at that is now. And some of the formulas have changed a little. But, you know, I'm not going to get like Reese's Pieces or Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. I mean, we all have that now and all have access to it fairly regularly. Um, but stuff that I remember, at least, being from back in the day. Um, hey, Monica, welcome. Good, thank you, Linda. Just a bit tired, but good otherwise. Hey, Monica. Oh, I just said, hey, Monica. <laughs> I just saw your name again. Sorry. Oh, awesome. Um, so anyway, I'm, I'm thinking about doing that like once a week, just doing a retro thing because we had so much fun with it the last two times we did a retro video that just happened to be retro. It just it wasn't planned. It just was the way it was. Um, but then I was thinking if, any, if, if this ends up going well and everybody has a lot of fun with it, if there's any kind of retro stuff, whether it's candy or games or whatever, well, maybe not, I'm not talking like big stuff. I'm talking little stuff. So probably more candy, but if there's ever any retro stuff that you would like to have featured on my live, like just even if it's a bar, you know, ch a chocolate bar or 
a candy something that can just fit in an envelope, whatever. If you'd like to have it featured on the live that I do, feel free to send it over. Um, and, you know, I, I either mention your name if you wanted me to, that you're the one that sent it, or I wouldn't and just say it was from somebody. Um, but we'll see how that goes as far as, you know, once we get into this. Uh, hello, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Prepper. How are you? Dolls? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. That would be that would be one. That's something my mom would get into, actually. Um, so that is that. And then also we stopped at this um, deli that's near our office. And I my mom is a human mouse. Literally, she's a human mouse. And, you know, I started learning to like different things after I got married to Max's husband, who was Korean and loved every food on the planet. <clears throat> and we started, we lived in Tarp, Tarpon Springs at the time, which is like the Greek capital of Florida, basically. Um, and so we ate a lot of feta cheese. And a lot of the feta cheese, or most of the feta cheese, I've now realized was made by cow milk. Well, this deli that we go to has the cow milk. It's, it's Greek cow cheese is what they call it. And then they have Bulgarian sheep cheese. Well, one time when we went in there, hey, Kathy, welcome. <laughs> uh, very good, thanks. Just a bit tired, had a really long day, but otherwise good. Um, so we asked them if we could try it. So they gave us each like a fairly big chunk to try. And the the sheep feta was a, a little a bit saltier than the cow feta. And just the flavor and the texture and everything was like, a lot better. And so we went ahead and we got some, whatever. Well, today we went back because the last time we, we went by there on Monday, I think, and they were closed. And, uh, so we picked some up and I have some actually in a bowl. <laughs> I may have a couple pieces. Sorry. I'm kind of hungry, but, um, but has anybody, before I get into the retro stuff, has anybody ever had sheep feta or feta made from sheep milk? And if you have, what do you think of it? Again, this is my mom is a human mouse, so I've and my ex-husband like cheese. He didn't necessarily have to have it in the house to be happy, whereas my mom does. <laughs> um, but then, as they started hanging out more, he started liking cheese more, and then it kind of trickled down to me. So I appreciate different cheeses. I don't have to have them. But I like them, and this in particular, I could just sit and eat by itself. It's awesome. No goat milk. Okay, mild cheap feta. I love it. I mean, and I love salty stuff, so which is probably why. Well, I'm okay. Anyway, I like salty stuff, so the sheep feta is awesome. Goat a little tangy, nice though. Yeah, I haven't tried goat um, cheese. Oh wait. I'm sure I have. I'm sure my mom's probably going to hop on at some point, but I can't remember if I've had goat cheese or not. I'm sure I have because I've tried all kinds, but um, <laughs> love salt too. Yes. So this is, you know, we were talking about how we would love to have a, um, what was it? Um, a smell of vision or a, uh, what was it that we called it? Oh, for crying out loud, a touch of vision or a smell of vision so we could touch and, and smell the yarns and stuff. But I think taste of vision would be kind of cool, too. OK, depending on what it is that was being offered to be tasted, I should I should clarify that. I've never liked feta, but I've never tried the goat. Yeah, I, I love I mean, I love regular feta, but sheep feta is oh, so much. Mm. If I have the option, I'd rather go with sheep feta. Yeah, there are. <laughs> if you haven't hit the like button, if you could, I would appreciate it, guys. So, um, anyway, so I, I'm, I'm guessing there are probably a bunch of lives going right now. I'm hoping Kelly's going to go on at nine. Has anybody heard from her? I've emailed her a couple of times. They don't have her phone number, so I wasn't able to call her. But um, 
I did email a couple of times. She has not answered. I know on my last live, she said she wasn't feeling well. She wasn't doing great. She wasn't, she was just kind of down and stuff. And she just didn't want to talk. Um, so I'm really hoping she's okay. I hope her mom is okay. But I have not heard from her. Has anybody else heard from her? And I know she didn't do her Sunday night live, which is unusual. And so I don't know if she's going to do tonight's live or not. I am needing to get off by nine, regardless of whether or not she's doing a live. And I don't know if the, I haven't gotten any other notifications that there are lives going right now, but I hope I'm not stepping on anybody's toes too much. Yeah, I don't see any lives going on right now, but that, again, that doesn't mean anything. I don't always get all the notifications. So, wow, you guys are really quiet. Yeah, I'm sure you guys are all working on something and can't crochet and type at the same time. But um, she is not very tired, by the way, because she didn't get to go to the PARK. And she's bummed out about it because she was running through her mom's house like she normally does when she has her clothes on. Her clothes is her harness, but when she has, she didn't have her harness on, but she was running through the house like crazy, trying to herd me to the door. I had to tell her we weren't going anywhere, and she wasn't very happy with that. So she is, I'm, I'm very happy that she's as quiet as she is right now. I don't know how long that's going to last, though. Just saying. Um, so anyway. Why is everybody so quiet? What are you guys doing? Are you guys, you, you guys may be multitasking with um, <laughs> lives or crocheting, or is it my chat that's acting up? I don't know. Others were asking about her in Dee's live earlier. Seems no one has heard from her. Ugh. I really hope she's okay. I mean, I told her, you know, listen, I get it if you don't want to talk, but, you know, can you just let me know you're okay? And haven't heard anything. So I, I really, really, really hope she's okay. Hey, Melda, welcome. How are you? I hope my stomach doesn't act, start acting up. Oh, okay. Before we get into the retro thing, we had a meeting at our, from a few of a, from a few people from our office. We had a breakfast meeting today, and we went to IHOP, and I tried their new cannoli um, crepe. They have the cannoli. The Italian cannoli that's wrapped after the shell is like the pancake, whereas this one was the crepe. And it had raspberries and raspberry sauce on it with whipped cream and chocolate chips. And it came with eggs and, and bacon and hash browns. And I have to tell you, I was act I really actually enjoyed that cannoli crepe. It was really good. Just saying. Watching TV, listening to the husband and listening to you. Multi <laughs> that's cool, Linda. No problem. Um, hey, Kim, welcome. How are you? I'm thirsty. But anyway, I am hoping that I didn't have too much stuff that I don't typically have. Hey, mom. Um, that makes my like stomach act up or whatever. But anyway, what was I going to ask my mom? Oh, have I ever had goat cheese or cheese made, made out of goat milk? I can't remember. Because I was talking about the sheep feta. Which I'm going to take one more bite of. Sorry, not trying to be rude, I promise. Hi, Donna. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Everybody's so nice to my mom. <laughs> it's a slow night tonight, although I didn't really tell anybody I was going live tonight because I wasn't sure if I was going to be going live tonight. I think I said on Monday that it'd be either Tuesday or Wednesday, but I wasn't sure myself. I wasn't able to get on last night. Actually, today I wasn't sure. No, I said it was going to be Tuesday or Thursday because today I didn't think we were going to be able to because we had our meeting in the morning and then we had her doc one of her doctor's appointments and then we were supposed to have two other appointments, but we changed those till tomorrow. So 
that's actually now that's why I'm on tonight. <laughs> Hello. Look, I can't wonder about myself sometimes. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Welcome. I haven't started the retro thing, the retro candy yet, because I'm, I was waiting to see if anybody else came on. I do have to be off of here at nine, though. I'm not sure about the goat fat. I typically find all goat cheese too strong. Okay, so then I know I didn't have any. <laughs> My nose is itching. Ugh. And now I'm having to like clear out my DVR because I have too many shows. And I mean, I've deleted so many movies that I wasn't wanting to delete to make room for all of the shows that had started last, you know, at the end of last year. And I'm like so full on my DVR. So now I'm watching all but the last three episodes of every one of my shows and deleting them as I go. Normally, I used to try to keep all the entire season of all the shows I like. But I guess I added a couple new shows and that just doesn't work. And it's bugging me because I hate deleting stuff. Hi, Black Ribbon Crochet Studios. I don't know your given name. If you would be willing to share that, I'd appreciate it so I could write it down and actually call you by name. Oh, is it Denise? <laughs> Black, whoops, ribbon, crochet studios. Well, movie, I forgot what you want to be called. Okay, so I'm guessing it is Denise. Okay. <laughs> it's nice meeting you, Denise. Sorry, I'm trying to write it down on my hand on a piece of paper, and yeah, that doesn't work very well. I was wondering, I'm like, geez, Kim, what are you yelling about? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, so anyway, what is that yarn? Are those yarn balls? I've always wondered. I can't find it on mine. Sorry, I'm I tried to hide it, but it probably came through and I hope it doesn't get contagious. And I'm not going to say the word because you all know even saying the word makes it happen. Okay, so I'm, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and start the retro stuff. So anyway, I know we talked about a different a, a, Teresa movie is Milda. Um, we, when I first started doing lives or a few a few lives after my first one, we did like like the whole thing turned out to be retro stuff. Yes, I know it's not crochet related, but not everything always has to be crochet related. Um, I know, Teresa, that's why I try to write everything down. Doesn't mean it works all the time, but um, but we had a lot of fun. So we but we talked about candy and food and, and games and gaming consoles and music and movies and all kinds of stuff. And it was a lot, a lot of fun. Um Sorry, that your your emoji, uh, Milda, just made me laugh. Um, so the reason why I went to the candy shop today or as we were driving down the beach and said, oh, you know what? I want to go to the candy shop is because I absolutely love the Smarties Mega Lollipops. I always get the blue and red one because I prefer the flavor. But the big ones are the ones that actually taste like Smarties That because Smarties don't. At least I remember them always being like sweet and sourish kind of or tart, sweet and tart. And the big ones are the ones that actually she had to approve of it. Yeah, no kidding, Teresa. Me too. Um, so the big one, I, <laughs> Teresa says, hi, Miley. No, 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 you're not getting started. No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You're not eating this. This isn't for you. The big ones taste just like Smarties. The little ones that are like a third of this size, maybe, are just sweet. Which I mean, there's no problem with that, but they're just sweet. And the guy even the guy even agreed with me. He's like, you know what? You're right. That's what the difference is. Yeah. So I went in there because of these. And then my mom was like, Oh, can you grab me? I don't remember what she asked for, but they didn't have it. It was more, it's a more current thing though. 
I just can't remember what it was. No problem, Teresa. I know it's hard to remember. Miley wants candy. Yes, she does. Um, no. Um, yeah, she's been sticking her face in the in the paper bag that all the stuff was in. Because I bought a bunch of these because I love these. Um, he has like the regular sweetheart. Or, I'm sorry, the Smarties, like the small roll of Smarties. But he also has the big roll of Smarties, the bigger Smarties roll. Hey, Leanne, welcome. How are you? Hi, hi, Natalie. Hope all is wonderful for everyone. I'll be listening for a bit, then I will join in the chat. Okay, sounds good, Leanne. Glad you're here. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. I appreciate it. So anyway, this is why I went in there. And then I was like, you know what? I'm going to get some more retro candies, at least ones that I remember, and that I think we maybe spoke about when we were talking about all the retro stuff. And then he and I started talking, and I was telling him about my YouTube channel. I was like, oh, you know what? I got to do a live tonight. And he's like, oh, you have a YouTube channel? channel? I'm like, yeah. And he goes, what do you normally talk about? I said, crochet. And he goes, so how is this going to fit in? And I said, because a lot of us remember stuff from way back in the day. And he was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. And um, what? Can you go lay down again, please? No, go lay down. Please go lay down. Just go over there. Or lay here on the pillow. Come here. Lay on the pillow. Yeah, no. Anyway, really? She almost fell off the bed again. She did this earlier when I was setting up, and she almost fell off the bed then. So who remembers Smarties? Stop it. You're not doing this. You're not eating this. No, no, ma'am. Go back. Go back. She's, like, basically on my lap. My, can you? Go back there, please. Go lay down. Hey, go lay down. Or do you want to go there? You want to go eat your food? Go eat your food then. No, no. Hey, Derek, welcome. How are you? Stop. Stop. Go lay down. Why is your foot dirty? Oh, because you were playing in the dirt. She's literally, she's like putting all her weight on my, on my leg. Crazy dog. Stop licking it. It's all over now for Miley now that you have candy. I know. Yeah, they do still make Smarties. Absolutely. Um, I don't find the lollipops anywhere except from the retro candy store. But, yes, they do still make Smarties. <laughs> Thanks, Donna. Smarties are different here in Canada. Yes, they are different. They are chocolate covered in candy coating. Yes, I, I love the Smarties in Canada. My mom loved Smarties. I used to pretend they were pills when I ate them. <laughs> Hey, you are Jackie hooked in good company. I just want to write down. I write down everybody's given name so I can remember to um, address them. <laughs> All right. So hooked in good company is Jackie. Hi, Jackie. Welcome. I'm glad you caught a live. Hooking in good company. Okay. I really have to rewrite this list because seriously, I can't even read what I'm writing. So hooked in good company. Hopefully I wrote enough so I can remember. <laughs> Oh, cool. Welcome from Amsterdam. That's awesome. Miley, stop. No. Stop it. I have to check her paws because I have a funny feeling she may have a splinter in one of them because of running around with her boyfriend in the park. Okay, good. She's too busy looking that she didn't she didn't hear that word. Okay, so anyway, so that's why I went in is for these candies. Or ow, lollipops. Miley Stop. No more. I'm going to have to wrap your foot up if you keep continue. Stop it. And what does she do? She goes right back to it. Stop. Do not growl at me. No. No, ma'am. No. Stop. Sorry about that, guys. I'm holding on to her paw and she's not happy with it. FYI, Derek isn't my given name. It is my chosen name, though. I've had four legal names as an adult. Okay, well, that's good to know, Derek. Stop it. Oh, I guess that make, would make sense with me saying given name. Stop now. Stop it. Ooh, I didn't mean to, like, punch you in the face. Sorry. 
Yeah, she's not happy with me right now. Okay, something's really bothering her paw, though. So now I'm going to have a big wet spot on my sheets where she's laying. And, and she's laying, like, right where I would be laying. It's going to be a big wet spot. So frustrating. I remember you mentioning that in one of your videos, Derek. I must have missed that, but I'm glad. Thank you for that. Okay, so anyway, then I went ahead because they didn't have what my mom was asking for, and I still don't remember what it was. Um, yeah, poor baby girl. Oh, now she's actually chewing on her nail. Miley, stop. What's going on? I don't feel anything, but I guess I have to take the flashlight and really look at it. Everyone is too in my time zone. We'll watch it all tomorrow in the U.S. all of February in Chicago. What? In the, in the U.S. all of February in Chicago. Good night. Miley, stop. Oh, my goodness. Okay, good night, Jackie. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Okay, so had to add that wet spot. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be big because she just keeps moving. Stop it. And she just now started doing this. It wasn't bothering her before. Oh, and now she pushed my hand away so hard. Leanne, I'm glad I'm not the only one who chuckled at that. <laughs> I don't know. She's on and off, but don't don't worry about it, Leanne. Seriously, she she she's very cool. Don't worry. No, no, she doesn't. I I honestly think she may have a splinter in her paw because um well, but that would have started bugging her yesterday because that's the last time she was out there. Stop, Miley. Sorry, I just figured I'd check it out. I really can't see what it is. I don't know. But sometimes if she, she just gets weird. Sometimes she'll just like look at her paw like for a half hour and drives me nuts listening to it because she won't stop. And she's just and there's nothing wrong with it. But so anyway, do you guys can you guys hear her licking? Because it's loud to me. And you can see her going back and forth. But um, anyway, if I actually, you know what? She didn't even look up at this. Miley. Sorry for the crinkling. You want a treat? Miley, you want a treat? No, not my treats. She might be stressed because she can't have candy. <laughs> it did start right then, didn't it? Okay, I'm glad you can't hear her because, man, it's loud over here. But she stopped for her treat. Oh, she's giving me her paw. Yeah, for you. You trying to? St you just want to have the center of attention on camera, don't you? That's all she wanted. She just wants to be on camera and have everybody talk about her. Um, so anyway, the thing I ended up buying for my mom, well, I ended up getting one for myself and I didn't realize that they had these back in the day, but is the chocolate covered Hiva, which evidently they've been around for like decades. So, um, okay. Either she's wanting attention or she wants to just get treats all night, which I would not be surprised if that's what she ends up doing. But does anybody remember? Okay, she's in a better light. Hold on a second. What's going on with your paw? I don't see anything. Ooh, what is that? She has a little scab in there. I think she may have 
It could be from yesterday. She doesn't normally pick at scabs, though. Really? Miley? Okay, so now it's <laughs> dirty wet spots everywhere. I've never heard of that. Oh, Hiva is made out of um, sesame, like crushed sesames, sesame seeds. It's delicious. Um, and they've got them with like pistachios in it or half and half, like half vanilla, half chocolate. This one I think is, I don't know if it's chocolate covered in chocolate or if it's like, I can't tell, but, um, it may be like a vanilla center with a chocolate coating, but I love Hiva. It's awesome. 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 Oops. Sorry for the glare, but, um. I've never heard of that chocolate bar. Oh, my gosh. She's driving me crazy. I remember having it, but I don't think I ever tried it. It's so I never used to like it, and I, I, I was always like, no, I don't want to try that. Why? I don't, no, gross. But it's addictive, honestly. And and uh, um, Mr. Pierogi, which is a, um, a restaurant locally, well, I mean, it's a little bit of a distance, but they have this vanilla one. They have a small one that's cut kind of this size. And then they have a larger one that has like a plastic, it, it like sits like in a plastic container and it's wrapped like that in a plastic um, wrapper, but it's really, really good. It's just plain vanilla flavored sesame, crushed sesame seeds is basically, basically what it is. Yeah. I love sesame seeds too. In, in grammar school, that's what we used. We would have, like, bags of sesame seeds and just, like, be sitting there eating them through class, like, all day. Stop. Now. Enough. You're really going to irritate your foot, Miley. Sorry, guys, but I got to try to see if it's something else. Cause she, I mean, she'll lick, but then she'll stop. Ultimately, she doesn't normally lick this like constant. Okay, so then that's when I decided, you know what? I'm gonna pick up some other retro stuff. I know we talked about this. I don't know who was part of that live, and I don't think some of you were, but we were talking about them quite a bit. Does anybody remember the Love Beads candy necklaces? Oh, it's not picking up because of the, but it's on a, it's on a string and it's the candies just around the string. I remember eating these in grammar school. Yes, we used to wear them and they have bracelets too, but, um, <laughs> hi, hey, Melissa, welcome. How are you? Hey, sweet Nana, thanks so much for the squirrels. You are so welcome, Granny D. I'm glad you got them. I'm glad you like them also. I mean, I knew you would because you said you wanted to get them. Um, so when I saw them, I had to get them. You do remember these, Andrea? Good, I'm glad, Granny D. Enjoy them. Hey, Julie, welcome. How are you? Yeah, I remember somebody saying that they used to like like somehow fling them across the room, but I never used to do that. I used to just eat them. Yep, and accidentally snapping yourself. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, I remember the necklaces. I'm good. I'm good. I'm tired, but I'm good. Thank you for asking. I'm glad you're good. Yes, I may have lived off of those one year. <laughs> I miss the Jolly Rancher sticks, like six inch rulers. Yes, I remember those too. Just bought my daughter those the other. These, Monica? Yeah, I put them in a special little container. Oh, you're so cute, Granny D. I'm glad you like them. Enjoy. I know they'll be put, whether you use them or whether you just keep them. I mean, because they're adorable. They, they really are cute. When I saw them, I was like, oh, my gosh, I need to get a set. Um. So, yeah, so these were always fun. For anybody that didn't see them when I put them on before. I mean, when I showed them before. But, yes, these were fun. I got the necklace instead of the bracelet, which, I, honestly, the bracelet probably would have fit. The necklace wouldn't fit me now at this age because it's not really not that big. I'm, I'm sure it probably stretches a lot more, but. 
Uh, yes, they will be used. <laughs> Good, I'm glad they're going to be used. My Lee, stop it. You're really driving me crazy with this. Oh, my goodness. Everything. My sheets are just dirty now. Uh, I remember those, but I was a little worried about what kind of conversation I was walking into when I called them love bees. <laughs> yeah, totally, Melissa. I get that. You have to actually wear them for them to taste good. <laughs> yeah, I really should have gotten the bracelets, but these were just so much fun. I was going to get the little, you know, the little um, wax um, uh, bottles that had the juice in them. I was going to get them, but they were like four fifty for like a three pack. I was like, that's ridiculous. I think some of the prices are different because when I, the way I calculated all this in my head, I thought I was like right around $20. But then when you rang it up, it was like 12 75 or something. And I was like, is my math that off? I it was, I was like, okay, but I'll take it. No problem. So then I added a couple more things, but Do you remember the wax bottles, Julie? Hello, Handy Dandy Crafts. Welcome. How are you? Please stop. Stop. I'm going to wrap your foot in a second. And then you're just going to tear it off anyway. I love the wax bottles. I used to eat those like crazy. Handy Dandy Crafts, I don't think I have you on my list. If you don't mind sharing your name, I would appreciate it just so I could put it on my list. Sorry for the shaking, Handy Dandy. Oh, my gosh, I can't read my writing. How are the babies? Sorry, I just see, saw Granny D ask that. Hey, Claire, welcome. How are you? Good. I'm good, thanks. I remember the wax bottles. We might be close in age, Natalie. Yeah, I love the wax bottles. I'm 42. People just call me Handy or Mama B. Okay. Oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, but this is, like, literally driving me nuts hearing her just lick her paw so much. Ooh, she stopped. Nope, there she goes again. I love them. I actually bought one, bought some bottles for my kids. They were so much fun. I love them so much. I just saw wax bottles in stores recently. Did you really? Well, that's awesome. She was like scooching backwards, smelling her foot. I like them as a kid. And I'll be 61 in March, and I know about the old candies. I'll be I'll be 43 in March. Babies are getting big. Okay, I'm 38, so we are close in age. Yes, we are. So March is my birthday month. I don't get into specifics of dates, but March is my birthday month. So then I picked up, which they have these still. They sell them all over the place, but I used to love these, and I remember them as a kid. The ring pops, but these are the sour watermelon. I love, I used to love the ring pops. And like I said, they still sell them, but this brought me back because, uh, you know, I happened to be there and I was looking at all this stuff and I was like, oh my God, I have to get that. Hello. Welcome. How are you? Who did I miss? Have I missed? I think I've missed somebody. They made the wax bottles when I was a child and I'm 66. They've been around forever, Donna, I swear. Dipsy Doodles back. I kind of remember the Dipsy Doodles. I think you can get some of the old-fashioned candy from Amazon. Oh, I'm sure you could. What are Dipsy Doodles? Uh, hey, ho, hey, D. That's smart. I don't give out my birthday either. Yeah, I, I don't. That's just too, too much info. Even saying March is a lot, but is what it is. I used to like the Ring Pops, too, but never like the watermelon flavor. See, I love anything watermelon. Anything watermelon. Oh my gosh, Derek, the note was trying. They are the most buttery corn chips. I think I remember that. Hey, Diane, welcome. Good, thank you. How are you? 
Oh, are we talking about old candy? One of my favorite. Yes, I bought some retro candies, and this was going to be a retro live. Nothing like candy to send you down memory lane. No kidding. I was going to name the wax bottles, but apparently I'm not allowed to use the N word because my message instantaneously vanished. Seriously? That's weird. Um, I do. I'm a spring chicken, March 21st. <laughs> yes, you are, Granny D. Um, ring pops are still going strong. My kids have had them. Yeah. Oh, I know they have, but I just remembered them from back in the day. Yeah. I love watermelon. Um, we didn't zap you, Claire. Yeah, I know I didn't. I'm not even near my, I mean, I am near my laptop, but not. So anyway, but like I said, the reason I went into the store was to get the sweet, uh, the Smarties big lollipop. And then I got the chocolate covered halva for my mom because I didn't have what she asked for. And for the life of me, I can't remember what she asked for. And then I decided to go retro for tonight's live. And I got, for those that weren't here just a minute ago, I did the um, candy necklaces. You can't really see it. Sorry. Remember these from grammar school. And then, of course, the ring pops, which I know are still around. Hey, HD, welcome. I think I'm missing some people. Did I say hi to you, Diane? Hi, if I didn't. <laughs> We're almost birthday buddies. HD, HD, Claire and Julia, I don't know. The Smarties Pops are great, too. Yeah, but the big ones, the big ones actually taste like Smarties. The little ones are just sweet. The big ones are sweet and tart, just like Smarties. Yeah. And I only get the blue and pink one. That's the only flavor. I'll, I mean, they only have the two, but this is the only one I'll buy. No, sorry. I didn't mean to imply you had. I think it was YouTube censored by the algorithm. That's so stupid. Um, And then there are only two other things that I got for tonight. Um, like I mentioned in the beginning, depending on what everybody thinks and, and says, and if they're in agreement, I may do a retro night like once a week on a live. I'll try to get stuff from the same candy shop. And then if, once I run out of stuff from there, I'll try to look for stuff somewhere else, including games or whatever the case is. Um, yes, the big smart pops. Absolutely. Um, where did you find them? Which one, Diane? Smarties, those are definitely different in Canada. Yes, they are. They're chocolate covered. Um, I mean, chocolate with the hard shell. Um, kind of, sort of like our M&Ms, but not quite. I'm okay, Dee. Thank you. I love you, too. Yes, they are. Um, so I am thinking about doing a retro, one wet retro live a week. And... I had mentioned in the beginning, if everybody is interested in it, um, the Smarties Pops I got at a local candy shop. It's actually called the Candy Shop on the beach. And they have the big ones. They have the big ones and the little ones. The little ones don't, to me, taste like Smarties. Because Smarties, to me, were always sweet and tart. This, The big ones are sweet and tart. The little ones are just sweet. They're actually by a different manufacturer. That's one of the reasons I was told why that is the case, that they're different. Um... If you haven't hit the like button, if you can hit the like button, I'd appreciate it. We have 26 people in here, but only 16 likes. Chocolate cover. <laughs> Me too. So, so true on that. Okay. So then what I was going to say. No, it's not a double. It's just, it's got the pink and the blue flavor. The ring light is distorting it, but it's pink. The pink and blue flavors of Smarties. And it's big. I mean, it, it's almost two inches wide by like an inch and a half deep, maybe, kind of, sort of. Um, but they're really good. It's called Mega Smarty Lolly. Um, yeah, in Canada, Smarties are, come in like a box. And they're kind of sort of like our M&Ms, but not quite. Um, but they they have the chocolate inside with like a candy coating outside. And they're colored. That's Canada Smarties. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so what I was saying is obviously, I mean, I'm, I'm going to get stuff from this candy shop because I like supporting small businesses. And they he's just awesome over there. 
So every week I'll pick up a couple of things from there, even if it's like the small little games and stuff. I'm not going to get anything really big. But if there, obviously we all remember different things and we all may not have had the same things. So weird. We have those, but call them double. Oh, yeah, that would, that would be cool. Yeah, it's it's just called the candy shop, but it is a retro can. It's a retro store. They have all kinds of older stuff, including games and and, and sodas and and stuff like that. Um, my daughter picked up some all black jelly bellies at the sweet shop for my uncle Ray a whole pound. Oh wow, not retro, but if you haven't tried the new mint chocolate Kit Kat duo, you're missing out. Yeah, I haven't, but I'm not a big dark chocolate person. We call your mega lolly a sweet tart pop. Yeah, <laughs> sorry. When I read that, just never mind. Uh, Canadian Smarties equals US m ms Had both Smarties are better. I actually do like Smarties better. They are not quite the same. They have a different consistency, but I like Smarties better. US Smarties equals Canadian Rockets. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't realize that. Yes, Donna, exactly. I love the mint Kit Kat, heck, mint anything. I need to get it so my mom can try it because she loves dark chocolate. But, um, okay, this little shit is going all the way across my bed, just moving, licking her paw, making the entire center, the entire length or width of my bed wet. Ugh. Anyway, um, so going back to the retro thing, if there's something that you like and something small that would fit into an envelope, obviously as low cost as possible. But if there is something that you love that I haven't shown that you'd like to have featured on my retro live, feel free to send it if you want, like whether it's like a candy bar or like, you know, like, okay, I have these, but the candy necklaces, you know, something small, feel free. And I'll, I'll go ahead and feature it on the retro live. No pressure. You don't have to do it at all. But if you're interested, if you would like to, you're welcome to. If you'd like me to mention your name that you sent them, fine. If you want to stay anonymous, fine. Just an idea. Just throwing it out there to you guys. Have you tried Ruby Kit Kat? I'm obsessed with them. Ruby Kit Kat. What's a Ruby Kit Kat? No. Yeah. Not. I don't know. Just. I. Not that I hate dark chocolate, but it's not my favorite. Have any of you tried the cinnamon Kit Kat? It's so good. No. Have not. You should try it too. You may like it. Not a strong dark chocolate flavor. Oh, okay. Well, then maybe I'll pick one up. He stood up today and got dressed on his own. So big progress. He gets three hours of therapy a day. Wow, that's a lot of therapy. Huh, that's awesome that he lo loves playing bingo or that that makes him happy. I'm glad he's doing better, Julie. Our dog licks puddles and everything too. Yeah, she doesn't typically, she'll, it, she'll lick sometimes once in a while, like if something's irritating her, but she stops after like maybe 10 licks. She's been licking for what? Almost a half hour? I mean, it's ridiculous. Our dog, okay, I read that. Made with ruby cocoa beans, slightly fruity, very creamy. Interesting. I have not heard of that, much less seen them. I can't do dark chocolate. I'm a milk chocolate girl. Me too, Kim. Stop it. I'll look for it, Derek. The um, good news, Julie, continued prayers. Absolutely, Julie, continued prayers. So then the next thing I got, because I remember these. I don't know if you guys do, but the candy buttons. I think they still sell them, but not, not like the original ones. Can you see them? Yes, kind of, sort of. I used to like the pink ones the best. But I used to love these. I used to love picking them off the paper and just eating them. Uh, I have to get them from Amazon. I found them once in Mexico and spent the rest of my vacation looking for them. And <laughs> I'm sorry I'm not laughing, but I still know what you mean, Derek. I have done that before also. I was in Ukraine and I found... What was it? I can't remember what it was, but I was looking for them everywhere because it was only in one rest stop that I found it. And uh, stop it. She keeps knocking the lollipop around. She keeps moving everything with her nose. Seriously? Um, and then and then I came back to the States trying to find it, which I ended up finding it. But now for the life of me, I cannot remember what they were called. Um, love those. I even had a kit, a kit in the 70s that made them. Oh, cool. Um, Oh, what are they? Oh, the Toffee Fae. You know, the little one, The they've got the caramel 
outside with like the hazelnut chocolate inside with the hazelnut inside and then the the like button on top the very first time we went to ukraine years ago i saw them there and i picked them up and then i couldn't find them anywhere else while we were there and then i came home looking for them and i think i finally found now they're everywhere but then i only found them in like a couple of spots i'm so glad she's done Mm-hmm. They really are, Derek. They're very good. Addictive. Maybe she wants a lollipop. That will give her something. <laughs> yeah, and then she'll be, like, flying off the handles all day. But anyway, so I'm actually looking forward to opening these and eating these. Because. Ooh, two, oh, yeah, I forgot. They're two separate sheets because these really take me back to grammar school and just lots of old memories. Then the last thing I got for today. Okay. I mentioned the really big ones and he's like, oh, I have them here. But the thing is, is I would never eat it now. I used to like to eat it then. Now I wouldn't, and so it'd just be a waste of two bucks, which, I, yeah, okay, maybe isn't a lot, but it is a lot when you add it up. Um, so he's like, they have all kinds of sizes. They have the, the massive ones. They have this one, and then they have, like, three other sizes down to little tiny, 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 tiny little balls. But the really big um, – almost dropped it. The really big um, uh, jawbreakers – the other one is like this big, but I went ahead and got this size because this one I may eat still. Oh, yes. Wax lips, too. Oh, my gosh. Those were so fun. I love the wax lips. <laughs> yes. I didn't see them there. I have to ask him if he has them and if he doesn't, if he can order them. And I really need to double check on the price of the wax bottles because. $4.50 for a three-pack was, like, insane. And his prices are not ridiculous. That's what kind of threw me. So many things I can't eat anymore more for various reasons. Yeah, I totally get that. I remember licking my tongue raw on those huge. <laughs> me, too. I actually remember getting it to a point where I was able to get the big one into my mouth. And I had, it was like, I, I mean, you could tell I had it in my uh, then I was like, how the heck am I going to get this thing out? Because it felt like it was stuck. And so I just had to sit there and let it, like, yeah, it was nuts. I love jawbreakers and gobstoppers. Yes, I love gobstoppers, too. I haven't had them in a while. Hey, Adele, welcome. I haven't had them in a while, but I love gobstoppers. Not the banana ones, but we got jawbreaker pops for our kids for Easter. Oh, that's fun. They last for months, really. My brother used to... Saw jawbreakers in half for me. That would basically be how I, sh that's actually how I should have eaten them. I shouldn't have tried to eat one of those huge gobstoppers. This one is doable because it's really not that big. It's like what, like an inch maybe in diameter, maybe a little bigger, but so totally not a problem. Okay. Adele is saying all of her hellos. <laughs> I used to take a hammer to him. Oh, gee. <laughs> Milda, that's too funny. Didn't they like break apart like completely? I would have thought that would have like gone everywhere. Oh, back. Ha ha. This conversation has been funny to listen to being an Aussie. I've only see a few of those sweets, lollies, we call them. Yeah, I'm sure things are so much different over there. Like the Tim Tams, for instance. That was fun doing the Tim Tam challenge, by the way, or the Tim Tam slam. There is a YouTube video of a guitar made with jawbreaker cut in half and resin. Pretty cool. Oh, that would be cool. That would be very cool, actually. Sorry, guys. I was trying to hide it, but it, it, and I don't think I did a good job. Did he have the flat candy that was like peanut butter? Which? Which one? He also has like the um oh what are they called? They're like in a bag. It's like the gold um not gold nugget. It's like gum, but it's like in a in a little like hacky sack almost. But 
the flat candy that was like peanut butter. Now it's going to drive me nuts, Julie. I don't know if he had them. I'll have to ask him. He has all kinds. I mean, it's so fun to walk in there because it's just like nostalgia, just completely. And uh, like even the little games and stuff, some of them they still have, like the little, um, well, I'm not going to go into it just in case I get it, but they still have them in places and you can pick them up basically anywhere, but it still takes you back to the good old days or, or like the, Oh, I have to get them. All right. I'm not going to talk about stuff. I'm going to get Captain Sisters with Julie, bit of honey. He did have bit of honeys flat and rectangular with a peanut filling. Is it the bit of honey? I found a retro candy that has little candy sprinkles inside ice cream cone like wafers. They look like little UFOs. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Retro candy that has little candy sprinkles inside ice cream cone like wafers. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. I've seen those. Don't remember the name of them, but I, I have seen them. Sorry, there I go again. Okay, I'll have to pick up some bit of honey. I have to remember that. Okay, I'm going to message myself so that I remember. Bit of oh honey. Not but, bit of oh honey. Yep, I'll have to get that. Thankfully, he's like, right, no, not right. Now. As the crows fly, he's like, three miles away, but well, I want to know what it is if it's not bit of honey. Captain Stitches, Julie Family Dollar has some crunchy peanut butter candies that are flat and rectangular. I want to know what they are. I know what you're talking about, Julie, not bit of honey. Lost a couple teeth on bit of honey and now and later as a kid. Oh, I used to love now and laters too. I don't remember the name either, but they were cool and kind of blah. Yes, Julie, I know what you're talking about. Hi, Donna, Derek. I wonder if that's the same. Huh. That's going to drive me nuts. Oh, I'm still trying to hide it. I hope you guys even, hopefully you don't realize what I'm talking about. Because you all will start it. Captain Stitches, kind of silvery color, clear wrap that makes the candy look striped. Okay, now I'm really not knowing what you guys are talking about. Silvery color. Yes. Okay, I need to know what it is. I'm glad to see you all. I got to go have a great day. Bye, Handy. Have a great night. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate it. If you haven't hit the like button, if you can hit the like button on your way out, I'd greatly appreciate that too. I lost part of a tooth on Laffy Taffy, too. <laughs> yes. Well, Laffy Taffy, they still have. Actually, and one of the guys in my office likes the banana one. Not my thing. But, yes, I remember Laffy Taffy. <laughs> Leanne, you caught it. Yes, you did. Peanut, peanut butter logs. I kind of remember. I think I kind of remember them. Interesting. Okay, peanut butter logs. Let me let me message myself about that too. Peanut butter logs. Okay, I have to check and see if they have them. They got you like button blue. Oh my gosh, now that I started, I can't stop. This is driving me bonkers. Just Google them called peanut butter bar. So creative. <laughs> All right. Well, now I got to do it. Peanut butter logs. I need to see the original, though. Oh, I remember those. I don't know if he had those. I have to check it out. Yeah, these guys. I remember those. Just, okay. Yeah, peanut butter bar. 
Huh. Interesting. I mean, I, I remember having seen them, but I don't know that I remember having them. So if he has them, I'm going to pick them up. Uh, like I said, some of some of the um, recipes have changed on some of them. Like my ex uh, fiance used to love um, O Henry's, and I used to get them from there. And also, there was a bulk store that had them. And one of them, the one from the candy shop, was you could just tell the difference from especially if you remember them from back in the day. But, but I mean, everything does change. I keep flipping between this tab and the tab where I'm working on a thumbnail. And if you were doing what I think you were doing, I'm doing it now. <laughs> Sorry, Dirk. My mom would tell us stories about the penny candy store she would visit during the depression. I took my kids for candy too, to expose them to older traditional candy. Yeah, I love older candy. Chico sticks. I remember those. Bye, all. I've got to go for now. Bye, Linda. Have a great night. Thanks for stopping by. No, I have not heard from Kelly. And I guess everybody was asking about her in Granny D's live, and nobody had heard from her. I emailed her a couple times and nothing. So I'm really hoping she's okay. I'm hoping her mom is okay, too. I don't know if she's going to do her live tonight, honestly. She didn't do Sundays. And since nobody has seen her around, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I told you all I was tired, though. So you have to excuse me. Oh, she was on your live, Derek? Was Kelly on Crochet Pink on your live? Miley, leave everything alone. Okay, well, we wait. She did say she would try for tonight. Okay. Yeah, I remember Chico Sticks. See, I can't just lean up against her. She wants to play then. Or she wants to mess with me. Kelly came on at the end of my live. She said she is coming on tonight. Okay, well, that's good. I don't remember seeing her, but Kelly was, though. KO by Kelly was. Okay, got it. I need to go have a beautiful night, everyone. You too, Melissa. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Can you go lay down, please? Yes, thank you, Granny D. Okay, now she's starting to get crazy. Do you remember the red hot dollars? I do not, actually. All you have to do is apologize, and I react now. I'm blaming myself. <laughs> Okay, I won't apologize. I'll just try to do it silently or or inconspicuously and hope that, that works. Stop. What is up with you? Oh, she's itching. Something is it. Something's itching you, huh? Can you want me to scratch you? Is that what you're telling me? Huh? <laughs> Look at her. She's... <sighs> yeah, I'm going to head out to Got Lots to Knit Crochet. Okay, bye, Granny D. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I'm glad you got the squirrels. And that you love them. And, yes, I gave the thumbs up. Thank you very much, Melissa. I appreciate that. Love you, too, Granny D. You are being a crazy little dog right now, aren't you? She wants my attention. I'm not, I have my hand on her, but I'm not moving it. So she's not happy with that. I, th I do think she needs to do something because it was raining earlier. So she couldn't go on her own. <sighs> Seriously, will you stop? What is up with you tonight? See, she didn't go to the place, to the PARK today, so she's not at all tired. She played ball a little bit, but she was like, I'm done and whatever. I want to go dig my hole and go bark at the dog across or in the backyard. 
like one of our neighbors. <laughs> Sorry, I'm watching her on screen talking to me. <laughs> Crazy little dog. Red hot dollars were a red round circle licorice. Okay, I remember them, but I'm not a big licorice person. Yeah, I know everybody thinks I'm crazy for that, but I am not. Twizzlers, I don't mind, but like black licorice, uh, I cannot do the flavor of black licorice. I just, Ooh. no, no. Um, okay. I'm trying to think what the other, oh my gosh, it was something that I saw today but didn't pick up. What was it? Um, oh, he did have those big tubes of, um, uh, um, what was I eating that one time? The big tubes of um, pixie, di uh, the pixie sticks. But I didn't get any because I think I still have one from when I picked them up at Target. Red Hot Dollars. Can you please stop talking? Her tail is wagging a mile a minute, slapping the bed because she is wanting attention. Really? Now you're going to be upside down? Wait, you got one of my hairs in your mouth. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to choke on it. <laughs> you can see her foot upside down. No. Okay, if she's going to start getting, like, really, really ornery, I'm... I'm going to have to let her out, but stop being a maligator. Stop it. You're going to fall off the bed. You're going to fall off the bed. Hey, Gina. Welcome. How are you? Good, thanks. We're talking about retro candies. I, I was talking about stuff I picked up at my local store. I actually want to really open. No, no, this isn't for you. And this and it's funny because it takes a while to eat, but then once you get to a certain point, it just falls off the stick, and then you have like the big piece of it in your mouth. No, it's not for you. No, no. Everybody got really quiet all of a sudden. All of a sudden, Gina. I guess they're doing their own thing now. No. Okay, you want to smell? You happy? Okay, good. When I was a kid, my mom would give us a penny and we would go to the store and a bag fill of penny candy. I know, it's craziness what you could get back then. And now it's like, nope, nothing. Yeah, I know you are, Derek, no problem. Um, yeah. I remember that. I mean, I don't remember the penny. I remember. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't hide that one. Um, I used to eat those as a kid. I don't count my live streams as my daily videos. That makes sense. Yeah, right now I can't do my regular videos, so I, yeah, yeah. I remember those days. I was happy to have a quarter. No kidding. Stop it. Stop. No, you're not getting my lollipop. I know. It was a big deal. I mean, I, I can't even. I'm trying to remember what we used to go. Because we used to go to the drugstore. That's where we would get our sesame seeds. Our, our, um, yeah, our sesame seeds. And stock up on our candies. And, of course, it was next door to Peppy's which was an amazing hot dog stand. Amazing, 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 amazing. He had the best cheese fries. And um, the hot dogs were on the poppy seed bun and steamed and the Vienna beef hot dogs that were, yeah, just delicious. This was back in Chicago when I was a kid. I remember, uh, I remember penny candy and big candy bars were a nickel. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. Don't think about it. Uh -uh. Okay, I'm not doing that. Sorry, that just, uh, you know what? I'm not going to eat this right now. 
for yeah i'm just not gonna eat that right now i'll wait until we're off camera um honestly honestly i don't remember hey 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 no ma'am uh, uh no 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 She's trying to knock over her the bag of treats because she knew that they're open and they'd fall out. She's just looking at it now, waiting for me to open it to give her some. I was so upset when gum and candy went up to 25 cents. I know. I'm just trying to remember for the life of me. I cannot remember how much candy was at the drugstore. I remember sunflower seeds were not expensive and they were the, you know, the small bag well, sometimes we'd get the big one, but typically the small one. And we would eat the, we would each have a bag and we'd eat it. We'd finish it by the end of the school day. We were always, I mean, I used to be conscientious and I used to like spit out the seeds, either eat the seeds or spit them out like in a, in a Kleenex or something and throw it out. Some people would just spit them out everywhere. So you would see sesame, uh, um, sunflower seeds everywhere, uh, shells everywhere. It was, that was, yeah. But how much were candies then? Oh, my goodness. I think even, like, these were, like, 25 cents or something, if I'm not mistaken. The ring pops, I think, were, like, 5 cents or something, if I remember correctly. But I, I have a really bad memory to begin with, so I can't quote. Don't quote me on any of that. But, um... Okay, she's being a good, good girl right now. Okay, that was bad. Uh-oh, you only have two left, Miley. You sure you want one right now? These are organic chicken and brown rice recipe sticks from Trader Joe's. And I just, I, I tried them the last time I was there. And honestly, she'll really eat any kind of a treat. Like, anything you give her almost anything as a kid i used to just eat the shells so my mom started getting me just the seeds <laughs> yeah i never used to like the shells and then i think there was a, there were a couple times where like the principal was coming in or something and we had to like you know stop chewing and whatever hide and i would just eat them I mean, I wouldn't, it's not my preferred thing, but it wasn't a problem doing it. It was a big jump. Lifesavers and gum went from 10 to 25 cents overnight one year. I want to say 73 during the energy crisis. Anyone else remember? I do not remember that. Sorry, Julie. I still eat some parsley. Oh, me too. I actually love pumpkin seeds, but I need, I like the, but there used to be this, um, okay, the place is still there. It's a restaurant in Tarpon Spot. They used to sell these really big, plump pumpkin seeds that were salt, roasted and salted with the shell. And um, I used to love those. I mean, I could go through, now talk about salt again. They're just covered in salt, but I used to love eating them. Now I can't find them. They're like all shriveled up and stuff, and it's just not fun. But ah, I love black pepper sunflower seeds. Yeah, see, I'm not a big black pepper person. I can't remember either, Julie. Nope, that's it, Miley. You're done. You are done, little miss. No, don't hand me your paw again. Now she's giving me an attitude. She is such a character. Let me tell you. I'm trying to think what else was a big thing that we used to eat, like, regularly. We definitely always had now and laters. Um, oh, oh, my goodness. What is the other thing? Um, mamba chews. We used to eat mamba chews a lot. And... Although I think I was a little older with the Mamba Chews. Yeah, I have the candy necklace right here. That's one of the things I bought today at the retro candy store. Um, as well as oops, these guys. 
and the ring pop, which they still make, but it still brought me back to the back in the day. And then the Jolly Ranchers, I, Jawbreakers. I didn't get the super big Jawbreaker because I was never going to eat it. Remember the Lifesavers flavors that would spark if you chew them in the dark? No, I want some. I know Mamba Chews are still a thing. I just, I remember I haven't had them in 35 years maybe. Um, but I just remember them because my cousin used to eat them all the time too. That's actually how I got introduced to them. Yes. And Pop Rocks, they had, and Pop Rocks are still around, but the retro store has those also. Butter, butterscotch Lifesavers were always my favorite. I used to like the butterscotch ones. It, it's, I'm not, I'm not big into them now. See, I'm not that big into the cinnamon. I mean, I like cinnamon in stuff, like oatmeal and stuff. But when it comes to, like, get your nose out of there. Get your nose out of there. I'm telling you, she's sticking her entire snout into the paper bag. The quarter size, not the nickel size. Got it. Oh, wow. What is that? I hope that's not a tick or something. Come here. Because she's been playing rough with a German Shepherd, who's her, we call her his boy. We call her, we call him her boyfriend. Um, she's been getting like these sc scabs and stuff every so often because they play pretty rough. I mean, but they're both high drive working dogs, and that's what they do. But I hate, I hate feeling when she has like a. a a scab or, you know, I can see that she's, you know, has a scratch or something on her. I used to love getting the fruit flavored certs. Yes, me too. Dude, what is your problem tonight? Oh my gosh, she's like sniffing her entire body right now. So weird. She's so weird. That's the other thing. If if I happen to like be scratching her or something and, and a scab falls off or something, she has to smell it. She has to. Or my fingers. She has to. I don't I she just uh, she's a gorp, but she has to. Very strange dog. Fruit striped gum, yes. Oh, what were the other ones? They still have them. The uh where you dip the um The candy, the candy in the um, powder. Um, oh, my gosh. It's on the tip of my tongue. I cannot think of it. Come on. Somebody help me with that. Those I loved. I would sit there dipping it like crazy and just, oh, yes, that was awesome. Fun dips. Yes, 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 yes. Thank you, Diane. Clove and blackjack gum. That's not my thing, but yes, love, love, love fun dips. Those were so much fun. Yes, fun dips with the lickum stick, exactly. Loved it, loved it, loved it. They still have fun dips, don't they? They don't come in the big packs anymore. Yes, you're right. And remember, didn't they used to have like two flavors like attached? Like, I don't, I don't think you could like separate them. Mine, stop it. Enough. What is up with you tonight? You're being very not well behaved. Don't talk back to me. Pixie sticks. Oh, I love pixie sticks. Yes. That, that, yes. That's a definite, but they don't come. Oh, I loved it when they would do the left hand version. It wasn't anything but a different package print, but still I was a lefty and loved them. Oh, that's kind of, that's cool, Derek. Two sticks and two or three flavors. Yeah, that's right, Andrea. Multiple flavors. I used to love it. I, and then I would like, I, I would dip them into the different ones. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Now. They have them. Multiple flavors. They have them out for Valentine's. The, the fun dips? Really? I have to go get some. Actually, I have to check and see if the candy shop has them. Okay, so fun dips. That's another thing I want to get. Even though we talked about it tonight, I want to get it because I want to have them. <laughs> oh, 
Although I don't remember seeing the fun dips there. Seriously, I saw the pixie sticks, but not the fun dips. My computer froze up, had to reboot, so I'm back again. Welcome back, Kathy. I'm going to actually be getting off in about 10 minutes. But, uh, yeah, I will get some fun dips and ask about the peanut butter logs and get a bit of honey. Um, you can get a lot of older style candies at Dollar General. I haven't seen any at my Dollar, Dollar General. I don't know that I've actually looked well, but I like going to the candy shop because it's a small local shop. They have three friend or three stores in the area, and um, it's just fun. It's just so nostalgic. You walk in there, and you've got he's got bottle caps on like the, this countertop, and uh, I think he even has comic books. I think don't quote me on that, but I think. And then he's got like the different toys and the old school soda pops and all the candy and some of the toys and, and stuff. And he sells um, pralines and um, uh, oh my gosh, what are they called? Mar marzipan, um, like they're fruit shaped marzipans. Um, and he's got fudge and all kinds of stuff in there, all kinds of stuff. There's a section of that stuff. Interesting. I work there, so I know about it. Yeah, I've been through my Dollar General. I mean, I, that, I don't, I don't go there often, but um, the last time I was there, I don't remember. I mean, I always check the candy aisles out. I always do, and the chip aisles. Just to, that's just my thing. But I'll have to check it out. Thank you for that, Gina. I would love to work at the candy shop. It's called the candy shop. That's why I keep saying it. I'm not just referring to the candy shop, um, but. I would love to, but not. I'd have a love-hate relationship with that place because I'd get in a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. I mean, it's easy. Today, this, I mean, I literally, I thought, clearly my math skills have gone downhill because I calculated based on what was on the packages or the outer package of how much you charge for all this stuff. I thought I was like at $20, so I stopped. And then I added the jawbreaker, and he's like, no, it was like 12 something. And then I added jawbreaker went to like 13 something. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah. I was like, okay, I'll take it. It, it. It's not in the candy aisle. It's at the end of the registers. Oh yeah. I check over there too, but I'll, I'll check again. I, I probably missed it, but um, yeah, Denise has been really quiet all day today. She hopped on in the beginning and then disappeared. I see how you all are. You don't want to talk to me. I'm just kidding. I'm so totally kidding. It's not funny. But anyway, like I mentioned at one point in a couple times in the beginning, if you don't see me show, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to plan to do a retro live every week while I'm only being able to do lives. I'm going to get as much of it from the candy shop as I can. And then once I run out of getting stuff there, I'll have to find other stuff. But if I'm not showing stuff that you like or that you remember or whatever the case is, and it's something small and you'd like me to show it on, on camera or, I mean, on my video, go if, and you want to send it to me without it costing an arm and a leg, feel free to. And I'll go ahead and show it. If you want your name mentioned that you sent it, awesome. If you don't, let me know. I won't mention who sent it, but that somebody sent it because they wanted it shown. Um, totally, you don't have to do it. I'm just putting it out there. If that is of interest to you and you would just like to have it talked about, that's cool. Um, but we always have, every time we've ever talked about retro anything, we've had a blast. Actually, I think my longest live was a live that we did a retro, the, everything was retro. And I think it was like a three hour live. I think we did candy, we did foods, well, no, foods, I don't know that there's retro foods, but we did candy, we did music, we did movies, we did games, we did gaming consoles, we did all kinds of stuff, and we had such a blast. It was so much fun. I love talking retro because it just brings me back back to my childhood. Um, sounds like a good idea. Thank you, Adele. I appreciate that. Sounds awesome. I am busy today, but I'm loving the chat. <laughs> Thanks, Leanne. Yes, and I'm not asking. Le okay. 
I will, I almost want to put a stipulation, but it's not my place to stop you. But this is the, the, if you want to share or send retro stuff and it doesn't have to just be candy if there's anything, but small, because then it's not that expensive. If you want to share with me something you would like me to show online or on here, I almost want to put a stipulation that it should be just people in the States because it, it'd get ridiculously expensive if our friends in Australia or we had somebody from Amsterdam or Israel, Belgium, Germany, Canada, heck, even Canada, it's going to get ridiculously expensive. Again, I can't stop you if you want to do it. I'm just saying I'm not asking anybody to go into hawk for this. It's just a fun thing. And if it's something small, even if it's the wrapper, because it can fit in an envelope, that's cool. I'm not asking anybody to go into any kind of expense on this. Just if you are interested and you'd like it talked about because you don't have a channel and you're having fun with this and you want it out. You get what I'm saying, right? Just don't go into any expense. Please. Hey, Pedro, how are you? Welcome. Miss you too. I still have. Oh, that's true. Email a pic too. Yeah, absolutely. My email address is in the description box below. Feel free to do that as well. Um, um, <laughs> Totally lost my train of thought. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Patreon just like totally made me lose my train of thought. I'm kidding. It's not your, it's not you. Oh, I still have a call out only because it's not, I, at least from the States, it's not, it shouldn't be expensive. I know how much postcard stamps cost, but I still have a call out ever since I got the postcard from Simone in Australia. I, have requested this is the one thing i have requested is if anybody is willing to send me a postcard from wherever you live i am i am now wanting to collect postcards from all over the world since i have friends all over the world now never used to have friends everywhere um now i do so if you're willing to if you have the time if you have the opportunity some places don't have postcards I live in Florida. There are postcards literally everywhere you go. Okay, maybe not literally. Yeah, grocery stores. Okay, not like a mall. I mean, not like a department store doesn't have postcards, but literally other stores do in the mall. If you're willing to, if you are able to, whether physically or financially, to be able to send me a postcard, I would welcome them because I would really love to not only share with you guys, but I would love to start collecting postcards from all over the world. And I'm figuring that's probably the least expensive thing because I would never want anybody to go into any expense sending me anything ever. That's just not my thing. But that would be fun. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's not, but I think that would be fun. What am I missing? Hey, Petra, how is happy mama? Hey, Leanne. She had a more cantankerous day today, but she is getting worse. Oh, no, Petra, I'm sorry. Definitely in my thoughts and prayers. Everybody always is. Always, always, always. Okay, I do need to get off here in like a couple minutes, especially since Kelly's going to be going live, um, according to what was said today. But... Um, I know everybody's done, or not everybody, Patreon and Sandy did um, a video. For anybody who hasn't seen their videos about Sandy Crochet A and her sister, um, her sister had brain surgery, emergency brain surgery. She just, it, it was not something that anybody expected. Um, they've recently done a biopsy. They found cancer, they found a tumor at the base of her brain and Cancer. They haven't gotten the specifics on what kind. She did have surgery to put a tube in to drain the fluids. If it doesn't clog up, I guess again, then they're going to remove it and they're going to transfer her to the cancer uh, to the oncology ward. If it does clog up again, they're going to put a permanent shunt in, which that in and of itself can be. 
anything with the anything any kind of surgery really but anything with the brain can is a big deal obviously if they have to put a shunt in that's going to require additional just every she needs prayers for sure for her and the family and for sandy but i know sandy is it her brother-in-law is having he I think her sister is in Victoria, Canada, and it's like an hour, hour and a half drive for her husband, uh, for Sandy's brother-in-law to get to and from the hospital. And it's very expensive. Gas is expensive. Gas is expensive here. In Canada, it's outrageous. But it, it's getting very difficult for him to afford not only the gas, but also food to eat every day because he's doing all this driving and spending all this money on this. And plus, I mean, it's medical. So we all know what that is, but she is accepting donations. If you are interested in doing it, there's absolutely, she's, she, if you're willing to donate anything, anything, she does have a PayPal account. Um, her email address for her PayPal account is Miss Kitty, M S M is a Mary S is in Sam K I T is in tango. Kitty. Wait, K I T. T Y. So Miss Kitty, M S K I T T Y, 1111 at crap, I think it's Gmail. Yes, gmail.com. Um, so if you are willing to or are interested in sending any kind of donations to help her brother in law and niece, she is accepting them and she will forward them to her brother in law. Um, she also has her PO box address, which that I have, I have on my phone because, um, I, I, I'm, I want to send her something little, but, um, I will at the, once this goes to replay, I will include Sandy's, um, email address for PayPal as well as her PO box. If you would like to send her happy mail, or if you, if there's something else that you would like to send because you can't send a donation or whatever the case is, but her name is Sandy Clark. Um, it's PO box 2155. Um, I can't remember what STN stands for, um, but Sam Tango Nancy A and the, the letter A. Um, and then it's Nanamo, I think N A N A I M is in Mary O B C, which is British, British Columbia. And the zip code is V is in Victor 9R6X6. And they separate it. It's letter, number, letter, number, letter, number. With a There's a, just a space in between. I will put that in the description box below once it goes to replay. I did want to throw that out there because I know she's going through a lot. I mean, she still has, she's still recovering with her foot. And she's trying to get out to her sister as often as possible. It is her best friend. It's her only living relative outside of her daughter's. Um, but uh, I did just want to put there, that out there. Power of prayer is enormous. So obviously prayers are welcome. If you're not able to donate anything, that's okay. Even if you want to send her an email, I will. Oh, yeah. That's the same email. I'm almost positive that's the same email she uses on her channel. But I will double check that. And if it's not, I will include the one she uses on her channel in the description box below after it goes to replay. But I just wanted to throw that out there because I know she's going through a lot. And it's, it's a really emotional time. She said she can't get onto videos right now because she can't put two words together right now without crying, essentially, is what is the thing. As soon as she can do a video, she will do one to give more, more, a more, more of an explanation. But right now, they're still waiting for the results from the biopsy and see where things are going. Um, okay. Kelly just went live. I think I need to get off anyway. I just wanted to throw that out there though. Oh no. Sorry. Petra, big hugs and prayers for healing. Great idea. We'll keep an eye out for one from here, Natalie. Oh, thanks Leanne. You're so sweet. Thank you. It's probably going to cost you an arm and a leg though, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Petra, a difficult journey ahead. All the feels for you. I didn't get a notification. I'll watch replay. Oh, I'm sorry, Sandra. I set it up like an hour, at least an hour before, but I'm sorry I didn't get a notification. That's YouTube. Hello, everyone. Natalie, don't use that other email right now. Which one? The Miss Kitty or her channel one? Hey, Crazy Shepherd. Sorry, I didn't see you come in. 
she's being inundated with emails and can't get to them. Cards probably better. So don't use the Miss Kitty or use just Miss Kitty for PayPal. How have you been? Good to see you. Good. How are you? Welcome. I'm glad to see you here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. We'll do a naked raid over there. Crochet. Well, you, anybody that's a regular follower of my channel knows what that means. <laughs> the naked raid. Crochet me pink. Kelly just went live. Yes, she did. Um, Natalie closet raid time. We will travel over to Kelly together. Yes. Yes. We will travel over to Kelly together and it's a naked raid that we're doing on Kelly. Remember I'm the naughty naked, na the naughty naked hooker. <laughs> just use. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you, Petra. I appreciate that. Um, okay, so naked raid over to Kelly's, and I will see you over there for a few minutes. Oops, sorry. I know I should turn that down. Ah, it won't cooperate. Naked raid, Kelly. Okay. <laughs> she just said that Diane said I'm going over to Kelly's. Okay. I'm not saying that, Kelly. I'm not going to get the third degree. Okay, guys. I have to get off, though. I'll see you over at Kelly's. Have a great night. And, um... <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway have a great night thank you so much for all of your support i greatly appreciate it you guys are awesome i love you all dearly prayers to everybody and i will see you probably friday okay so i love you all so much thank you for all of your support you guys are great and um i naked rated her already so see you over there remember for every season there's a reason to crochet yarny hugs everybody and thank you also for being so awesome Bye guys. And thanks Leanne for the postcard. Whenever you get a chance, don't, don't, no pressure. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> it's crochet me pink Kelly for anybody that doesn't know. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please feel free to do so. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.